What's up, YouTube? This, this, this is a message. This is a venting session for me. Um, this is a exposing session for me. This is an angry session for me. Now, the enemy wants me to be mad. I'm about to expose some shit. And I'm about to stand up for my rights and I don't know where it's going to lead me. But I do know that God, the Most High, is on my side. Now let me explain to you. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Because somebody may be going through the same thing as me. Okay, now, I know a lot of people have been getting fucked over with the judicial system, the justice system, the court system, the law enforcement. Let me tell you what these motherfuckers did to me. I'm about to tell everything. And I want you to share this video for me, please. Please share this video. Now, my father passed away February 2nd, 2017. February 17th. What's up, Daniel? And he passed away. And wait a minute. So my father, he passed away. Now let me go. This is for those of you basically. I'm not going to try to make this real long, but it's a lot of points that I have to make to people that you need to be aware of, that you may not be aware of or what's going on with your court case. And this is what has been happening to me. And for now, for um, six years on the 17th, my father has been deceased. Now, my father passed away be behind a lot of stuff, okay? This house, that's my son. This house, see this house? This is my father's house, okay? Now, I've been paying the mortgage on this since my father passed. I've been paying. Now, let me tell you how fucked up the government is. My daddy, when he passed away, he had his mortgage payment set for $748 a month for this house. This is a four-bedroom house. Too bad. $748 a month. Now, let me tell you how the government, how the state, how these motherfuckers, Go over your what your what you your parents and your family have done, and they write up all of this paperwork and shit to take your shit away from you. Okay, this got to be exposed. I got to tell it. This is what they did to me. What they what they're trying to do. Okay. So years ago, my dad he was like, I was on the county at this time. I was getting welfare. Okay. And he always was like, if something happened to me, they, they'll take, take this house because you ain't got no job. You you know, you got to work. So I start working. Okay. <coughs> My identity was stolen. Now, these motherfuckers now. My dad left his mortgage payment when he passed away. It was $748 a month. Right. Now, my sibling was incarcerated. At the time of my father's death. And yes. I blame my sibling. For my father's death. Mentally. 
Metaphysically, he killed my father, literally and spiritually. Okay, because he was on drugs. Is and I believe will always be. It went from the street drugs to the prescription drugs. Now, the same sibling... God with the courts. Now, when my father passed away, let me let me tell you about my part first, how the courts fuck you. I was living with my father when he passed away. I was taking care of my father. He had surgery because he was diagnosed with stomach cancer. He had the cancer. He came home. He was getting around good and everything. He beat the cancer, right? Now, I know what a lot of people say. Once you have surgery about when, when they open up the cancer, it spreads and all of that. I was saying that to my dad, thinking I didn't say that to him, but this is what I was remembering, hearing what people were saying about cancer. But my dad didn't, if anything, he started showing symptoms of getting better. It was like he was beating. Now, this is a, 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 a how people can kill you in the spiritual realm. Now, also, for my father, he did this to, my, to his aunt, to my aunt, his sister. When they said she was real sick, he, before she had even died, he was going around saying that she had died. And she hadn't. And my brother did the same thing to my dad. When my brother, when my dad came and told me and my brother, we've known the two, we're his kids. I have two other brothers. I have one other brother and one other sister, but they're not my father's kids. Okay, he raised them, but they're not his biological kids. And there's a whole death, another story about those. They weren't here. It was me here. And my brother was here. Now, when my dad called us outside, he had an RV. He sat in his RV. And when he, yeah, I'm, I got to cut them out. When he sat in his RV, he called us outside and he told us that he had cancer, stomach cancer. Okay. Now, immediately, you know, when he told me this, I. You know, he was talking about he bad stuff, you know, and basically me being his daughter, I basically moved, actually moved in. I was just visiting, coming to stay with him to help him clean the house and stuff like that. And then I end up moving here with him. OK, me and my two sons, the ones that one of them you just seen walking past. And in the, in the process, I was looking for a place to live through a company because I was in on low income housing. So the place I was going through was trying to send me to Compton. My dad thought they was trying to send me to Compton, California. And you know about Compton, California. My dad didn't want me to live there. So he didn't want my sons to grow up in Compton. Okay. If y'all don't know about Compton, just look it up. Okay. And um, so... I stayed, I moved here with him from that day to this one. Okay, now let me tell you in between time, since my father has passed away, while my brother was in prison, or someone, while my brother went to prison, the reason he's, he was, if you've been following my channel, and if you knew about my other channel that I had, Pink Scorpion Intuitive, I tell a lot of things that was happening to me concerning this house to where I end up having to make this channel because they start attacking that channel. But I'm about to expose all these motherfuckers from the judge, the attorneys, the real estate people, all of them. Let me tell you what they did. My dad had our mortgage at 748. Now, this is a uh, this is how they how the government and the courts and shit these real estate people shit that your family worked for paid for they done made up all of these laws. Watch what the fuck you. That's why I don't vote. 
That's why I don't vote. Yeah, you're saying, yeah, you need to vote. That don't, that's bullshit. You're just wasting ink. They don't give a fuck about you. You see how many, how many homeless people is out here? And how many law, law people's driving Lexuses and Mercedes and Bentleys and all of these nice ass, big expensive cars and trucks and shit? Paying you. You paying them. Now let me get to it. So my mortgage, $748 a month. My brother come in and basically he got with the courts because he was on drugs and he just wanted money. So he got with these attorneys and these attorneys basically got together and it came to an eviction. Okay, yeah, I know where they say if siblings don't agree and this and that, but he told me, no, nah, we ain't going to sell the house. We ain't going to sell the house. And he started going around lying saying I was borrowing on the house. Now, yeah, I borrowed. They told me he borrowed first. But guess what? I borrowed and I've been paying the mortgage. So don't you think that I should be entitled to get something? If I done paid and, and I painted the house inside and out, this house in here, this, when my dad was living here, that, that back there, you couldn't even you couldn't even walk in there. You could just walk straight from there to that back door. Everything was hoarded. This house was hoarded. My son works for the city. So him and some of the city friends and the people from the neighborhood started helping me get rid of all of the old trash and stuff that my dad had in here. So as I started doing things to clean the house up, I was showing my interest. I didn't know about none of this stuff. They didn't tell me about the interest and if you're putting money into a house and you put, but I still got all my fucking receipts to everything I did. And then I went to the court. Somebody told me, well, you better go to the court to get the administration of the, the, of the estate. I went to the court to get the administration. Okay. First, you know, they told me I need an attorney because when I went, I tried to file my own paperwork. I had my receipts and proof of everything. This is the fucked up part. This is the fucked up part. I went in there a year ago. I mean, it was a year after my father passed away. This is how they hold shit up. This is how they're stealing your money because they're telling you no and you have to pay this. You have to pay that to do this. And they're just sitting up on their punky asses breaking in the fucking money. My father passed away in February 17, 2017. I went to the courts in January of 2018 to try to file with no attorney because I'm not, I don't, I couldn't afford one. Again, this is how they fuck you. I couldn't afford to get an attorney. I couldn't, I couldn't pay it, it uh, attorney charged me sixteen dollars to walk to walk in some paperwork to to sixteen thousand to take a piece of paper. You ain't got no paper right here. To take a piece of paper and present it to the court, sixteen thousand dollars. Why? I gave all the information, all the proof that I had. I had all my receipts. I had photos and everything. But I need an attorney for me to give this to a judge. Isn't that some fuckery? If you feel like it's fuckery, put if you've been through this, put it in there. Because I'm very pissed. And I'm at my, at my it's, I can't even talk. Because you know why? Tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to say I'm losing it, but. If I don't have $2,000 by tomorrow, they're auctioning off everything I fucking own. And I'm in this empty house. They made me leave. They gave me a funky ass $20,000. My daddy house is over $700,000.
And yes, I borrowed 80000 I put more in that when I was working. I got injured on my job. So I got a, a settlement. So yes, I put a lot of that into this house. And I'm not, I almost cried, but I'm not finna cry this time because I'm pissed the fuck off. That crying ain't helping. I'm pissed. And tomorrow is the 24th. Today is February 22nd. I've been getting calls from the storage unit. I have two storage units full of everything that I own. Things that my father owned. And these motherfucking court people, when I went in there a year after my father's death, then they, it's six years now. And they steady taking money from my brother, dumbass, who went in there and hired him. This is how they fool us. Do you understand that? They need to shut that whole fucking court system down. People is homeless. And they gave me that money. $20,000. And then when I went, they didn't want to get at to me. Talking about you. Uh, we didn't gave. I said, what the fuck you mean we? You ain't gave me shit, bitch. This is my father's money. It's not. It is. See, this is what this is how they'll do. This is how they take our property. And it's time for us to stand up about this shit. Don't you think? How many of your family members out there that is homeless because of some bullshit over some foreclosure, some stupid shit over some paperwork where these motherfuckers done made up all of these big words and all of this shit so you can't figure it out? You miss the dates, you lose your house, and they sit there and their kids is driving around and fucking expensive ass cars and wearing the best shoes going to the highest colleges because they done stole from the from us i'm tired of this shit and i'm like hell my shit get 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 taken tomorrow and they they done put locks on the fucking door and gave me twenty thousand dollars and in in three four months now that twenty thousand dollars been paying for rooms for me and my sons, the ones you just seen. Have to rent a double bed. I have to sleep in the bed with my 18-year-old son. And they sitting, they sitting at home in their beds with their Alexis and these series and all of that good shit. They video games, PlayStation 5s and all of that. And yes, I'm pissed because all of my stuff in there, all of my clothes, all of my shoes, all of my kids' clothes. Then these motherfuckers, somebody came over here, broke in my car. The devil is mad at me, but I'm still standing here. And I'm pissed right now. Because if, if my stuff in storage, if my stuff in storage, I just bought me brand new furniture. I bought my kids clothes because I was working and I saved. Then I have a stroke from fighting over this court shit where it should have been done a year ago. Why does it take years and years and years for them to settle some shit? Why? It don't take that long. It don't take that long. If they would get up off of their punk, lazy asses, they getting up, walking around with their high heels on and tight skirts and shit, nice suits and all of that shit, all in the mirrors and, and, and showering and all of that good shit, coming to court with their nose up in the air, see, let's see who fucking money we going to take today. Who we? They are the biggest thieves in the fucking world. Do you understand that? The people we trust in are the thieves. The people we trust in are the crooks. They're stealing your money right in front of your face. Oh, well, give me a game. It's going to take a couple weeks before we do this. Instead of doing what the fuck they need to do right then and fucking there. This shit, my father been passed in 2017. And now they trying to... And the sad thing is... 
the lawyer going to tell me, do you know that house is worth 2000 and something dollars a month and you've only been paying 748 Bitch, that's the way my father made it for me. The fuck you talking about? It's like, like they want to come in and try to take over some shit. Okay, where well, your father said 748 he's dead now. Now we're going to make you pay 248 2478 a month. And they got my shit online, sold, and the rent is seven something. 2000 something. This is when I'm talking about how they come in and do some shit. My father built this. You see that den back there? My father built that. That wasn't there. You see that, that, that little balcony, this little, this and this one I'm sitting on. My father built that. That used to be a big ass sliding glass door to go outside. We got a big ass backyard back there. And these motherfuckers is jealous and want to kick me out because my father built something for us, a shelter. And then the attorney, the, the, when I'm saying, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? He said, well, you can go to a shelter. This is how cold they are. Told me to go to a shelter. This is our shelter. And right now I got a niece out there that's in the system that lost one of her siblings, deaf, and got five more that's everywhere. She calls me crying because she's they're bouncing her from foster home to foster home. And she, she don't like it. She's been being neglected, abused, money taken from her. They just want her for money to where before she got in all of that shit, she was living here with me and I was taking my money, taking care of her. I wasn't after her for no money. I didn't even go to no system or anything to get money because God had blessed me with a good job. So my niece was just here with me and I took care of her. She didn't need nothing, but she got in the foster system. Now she's calling me crying because I can't bring her here where these motherfuckers done put a big ass lock on my door. And yes, I'm in here. Yes, I'm in here. And they got a lock on the door. You know why? Because they didn't took so long. They wouldn't pay me my money. They know I had a stroke. They know I can't go back to work. They know the only money I have is the money that I make on YouTube. They know my car was broke down. They know my truck was on flat. That people was flattening my tires. Breaking in my shit. And it was them. And the people, the loan sharks. Okay? It could be the loan sharks. It could be my brother. It could be my exes. Okay? Somebody. But when it comes to this house... I'm talking about this court shit. They did the shit. And <clears throat> this is what they're doing to a lot of people. And I, I got to speak out about it. I'm pissed. And tomorrow, if I don't have $2,000, I lose all my shit. Everything. You see the house is empty. I got pictures of when I moved out. They told me to move out October 11th. I moved out. I paid for fucking U-Hauls to get my shit. This is a four-bedroom house. Fully was furnished. Now my shit in storage. I paid for, for U-Haul trucks. Pay for the storage every month. Fell behind a couple times, waiting on these motherfuckers to, to pay me. And that was that was from October. I've been on emergency homeless lists from apartments. And because of the rent control and all of this shit. People ain't moving out, even the ones that's evicted. And I did the right thing when they went presented some eviction papers to me. I went on because I thought they was going to do right by me. 
I thought they was going to just give me my, my, you know, my relocation money. And then within a couple of days or a week or so, I get the rest. But no, they left me out there to hang out to dry and die. And I have a special needs son. My son is suffering behind this shit. He has autism. He really don't know what's going on. He's happy to be here wearing here cold. And it was raining. It was windy. It's cold. And if I hadn't come in here, we would be outside. Thank God my lights are still on in my name here. My gas is still on in my name here. This They made me leave in October of last year. And they still haven't paid me nothing. They telling me, well, what did you do with the money we gave you? Bitch, that's the money my father gave you that you trying to take. It's like they want me to be out. And this is why, you know, I don't look down on homeless people like that. Because I'm riding around right now with both my cars. <laughs> my truck, it, it's fucked up. Is I can only just move it from one side of the street to the other. And I've I've seen seen people doing that. How they make it so hard for you to get your tags, your licenses, and all of that shit. Just for them to rake in money. Instead of being pure hearted and not so fucking money hungry, they gonna charge you for everything. I said years ago, these motherfuckers gonna be charging for air and water, and that's what the fuck do they do? How much a fucking bottle of water call you costs? They take take things that that ooh. So I I, I just didn't come to the conclusion that when my stuff is auctioned off tomorrow. I ain't even got to even wash my face because I'm upset. You know how it feel to be in a house with nothing? My washer and dryer in here. And that's another reason I came in here. They saying where that $20,000 go? I'm having to wash clothes for my son. School, taking him back and forth to school, putting more and more gas in my car. Then I went to stay with my son for a while. Their house was too small. Me and my two sons were sleeping on the floor on the couch, and my and I have four grandkids, kid, four grandkids from seventeen to eight. Little bitty, this this little it was it was it was very small. And my grandbabies is spoiled, and, and I couldn't deal with it. I had to leave. They didn't want me there anyway because I was invading their little funky space. And it just got out of control. I told my son I got to leave if I had to go and sleep back on the floor. And the sad thing is, if they come trying to tell me something about leaving here, I'm, I'm not going to break that lock off of that door. I'm going to take it off. So they can't come saying, well, you owe us for damaging the lock. No, I'm not going to damage the lock. They got one of them things locks like that. So all I'm going to do is change the whole fucking locks on all the do on the door. And it just slide right off. My mail is still here. Why haven't they gave me something? Okay, well, if you want me to leave, if somebody done sold the house, then I, I it, um, all of that... Closing is taking all of this shit years and years and years. And then trying to tell me, like, I'm going to have to pay back pay of what they say. Well, you've been there that many months. See, how many years your father been passed away from 2017 and the value of the house a month is 2000 so and so and so. That means you owe this and this. Ain't that some bitch shit? They're a bunch of fucking narcissists. Narcissists. Come and take your shit. This, this is some slavery shit. This shit ain't changed. 
Shit ain't changed. It's a bunch of fucking alien reptilian motherfuckers trying to control the world. But God got got him. God gonna get him. They, he gonna get him. He gonna get him. And that's all I got to say. I'm 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 just. If you want to donate to my channel to help me save my stuff. I would greatly appreciate it. Some of you may not have it, but those of you that you got them big pockets out there, I need $2,000 before tomorrow or they going to auction my shit. It's like they, it's like I, I see why the bums are around the courts because see, when they go to complain, this is why I'm saying they all in cahoots. When you go to complain, this is why they they got the the fucking weapons things up in there. The the metal detectors. The people ain't only going in there to kill themselves and, and to, to kill other people. They going in there after them judges, them police, them attorneys. That's why they got the metal detectors. It ain't as much as about the family shit. No, it's they they protecting themselves. And they take all the guns and weapons and shit away from you and make you feel fucked up if you want to protect yourself. And that's giving them the authority to kill you if they fucking want to. Whether it's energetically, spiritually, monetarily, physically. They're a bunch of devils. Demonic possessions. The, the For the love of money is the root of all evil. And that's all what they do in their court system. The... Um, the bank systems, the big corporations, the car people, all of them charging you thousands and thousands. And then think about it, people. Think about this. Think about this. I, I thought about I was talking to my son yesterday. And I don't even know how the subject came up. We go out here and you pay in. 30, 40, 50, up to $100,000 for a car, right? And when you you when that car hits something, it's is 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 fucked up. Or is and then that's because this that fiberglass shit, right? Something that's easy to get fucked up. Now the cars in the old days, the metal cars, shit when you see the metal cars getting into an accident, the only way they cars will be <coughs> really bad fucked up is if if <coughs> they were going super super fast. But just you know, you could just be you could just kind of like tap somebody and your car fucked up. Then you got to pay a whole lot of money to get it fixed. Don't you see it's all a way of making you broke. And then our dumb asses go and buy that expensive shit. And the more you pay for it, the more it's going to get, it costs to get fixed. And so they got your money both ways. Mm -hmm. So. And it's crazy. I'm living in everything that I fucking left behind. If you under if you don't know what I mean, I mean all of my good stuff. Everything I worked for, everything I created, my waterfalls that I painted and shit. I just thought about that. I made so many things. Go look on my community board. On my old channel, Pink Scorpion Intuitive Reads. And you will see, you will see Things that I created, things that I painted, 
things that I did to my father's house to make it for my grandkids. I have 11 grandkids. And the crazy thing is, I'm their only grandmother. They lost all the others. My son's, my son's wife, her mother passed away. My other son's wife, her mother passed away. And they, both of their fathers, I'm the only grandparent they have. And I can't even bring them back over here. This is, this is, this is just like fucked up. My brother was jealous of the relationship I have with my kids because he ran his kids off. He was fucked up father to them. And um, he didn't take care of them. If anything, he, when they got older, he twisted their mind and made me the enemy. Where he didn't do shit for them, but find some shit in the trash and get him shit he didn't found in the trash and give him Christmas shit. And, they, and, and he used some sort of manipulation witchcraft to get me kicked out. But I'm not going nowhere. I'm, if I'm losing my shit tomorrow, I'm not going nowhere. They're going to have to do something. They got to do something. If, I'm, if, if tomorrow I'm losing all of my shit, Everything I own, everything I created, everything my kids have accumulated, their musical instruments and all of that shit for two storages. And I've been waiting around on these motherfuckers to give me my money so I can move. My son go to work every day. I was working. I had a stroke in June, June, July, August. I don't even remember. Behind all of this. And um, God, God works things out in mysterious ways. I, I, I see everything, everybody that has had something to do with getting me put out of here. They're all going through shit right now. They're um, my brother in and out the hospital. His attorney in and out the hospital. They sent a stroke to me. My uh, sibling had this preacher to come up in here, pray for my mama. After he put his hands on my mama, my mama got Alzheimer's. She started forgetting shit. Then See, they, they're, they're witches. That's why it's not good to let anybody touch you. Don't let anybody be praying for you. Witches. And he, and, and when that preacher touched my mama, my mama wasn't, she haven't been the same ever since. She's in a, a nursing home now. Because a demon or something pushed her down. And my son has it on video. And she was walking in the living room in here. She fell right here. Right with them blankets. You see my blankets? That's because they locked me out. But I'd be damned if I'm going to be outside in the cold. Sleeping with my two sons in a car that's already filled up with shit. I'm not, I'm, 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 my daddy didn't build this house for these motherfuckers to come in here and just tell us how to fucking live. I proved myself to my dad before he passed away. Yeah, I was on the county. Yeah, I got pregnant at 18. Yeah, I got pregnant and wasn't married. Yeah, I got four kids out of wedlock. Yeah, I was on the county. Yeah, I was on the county. Yeah, I was on the county. 
but I'm not no more. I started working and I got pictures and shit of me at work doing my shit. So it's like my sibling didn't. And then his attorney had the nerve to tell me um, about, well, what are you doing? Motherfucker, I've been paying the mortgage here for six years now. And then you, you try to turn around and you try to switch shit up. This is how they'll do you. You try to switch it up. Well, renters, renters this and mortgage that and switching shit up, trying to all of that paperwork and this and this a bunch of bullshit. God damn it, this was my daddy's house. I don't give a fuck what them paperwork say. Renters mortgage. When he left, we was paying $748. Till my bitch ass brother went in there and hired you. No offense to you people that's white, that's not like this, but to them white, arrogant, funky, life stealing ass motherfuckers. Yes, and the ones he's dealing with, they're all white. Okay? And they look at my brother as a fucking clown. Because he let them manipulate him. But they're not going to manipulate me. And I bind every spirit and rebuke every spirit that they're trying to send against me. I rebuke it and send it back to them and their family. In the name of God, you handle that. It's like... <coughs> I'm... I'm I'm doing this video because I'm not going nowhere. And I'm taking that lock off of my door. Now, if you want me to leave, you rush that paperwork. Give me what I'm supposed to do. Get, make some calls to me. Call me something. Send some paperwork because I'm not going to be out here in, in, the, in that fucking cold. And neither are my sons. And if my dad could come back, he'd probably haunt y'all asses. And any else, anybody else be up in this house, he ain't going to let them stay. <sighs> my dad was doing all kind of rituals and shit up in this motherfucker. Okay? And I'm not lying. And there's things that I didn't know about that I know about now. When it comes to this is why I'm learning about spirituality. Fighting demons. People here didn't want me here. Family. My dad has, has his little chicken head women and shit that, you know, he had up in here before I came along. So those is those are attacks, spiritual attacks, family attacks, lawyers, courts, real estate, all of that shit. Having to make it hard on me every day. Where I got to go buy food. Stressing me out. Nervous and shit. If somebody going to come to the door and all of that. Don't want to have another stroke behind. Trying to keep a roof over my head. Or having somewhere to stay. Because the fucking again. The rent out here is high. In California. A fucking. One bedroom. A single it depends where you at. The, the the lowest I've seen is like a thousand. And if you get them cheaper, it's in an area where there's a lot of gang violence and, you know, thievery and stuff. When you get close to the to the the water and all of that shit, the rate goes up. But see, let me let me explain something to somebody again. I'll say the more expensive stuff is, and we pay, the worse it is. Like, them motherfuckers living close to the beach, paying all that high-ass rent. And as soon as it's a tidal wave, they should be the first to go. But that's what they paid for. Them lawyers and shit, and they beach houses, and them judges and all of that shit. Living high up on the mountains and shit. Be funny, they building their they building they houses on top of giants. When them fucking giants wake up, all of them motherfuckers that's on the higher ground, thank you, spirit, that's up there higher, they building they 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 that on that landscape that that's the mountains, right? Those the giants, and that's where they building their castles in there, their places to stay away from the society. But guess what? As soon as them giants wake up and them people fall, we gonna be we gonna be able to see them fall and we gonna be able to run. 
where they're in the destruction right there on top of that giant because they're unlearned and don't know. Them giants. You better look at some of that landscape. I mean, in my city, around where I see, where I live, the people leaving all up in the hills and shit, those the rich motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. The people that live up, up high in high places and um, some of them, they down in the, la in the valley. They closer to hell than they want to be. That they, they, they need to be. And I'm gonna stop right there. I'm a, I'm, I gotta get on into this reading, but I'm just pissed off, and I have till tomorrow. And this wasn't for me to ask for donations, but because I, I, if I get two thousand dollars by tomorrow, I will be extremely happy. But it's like. I didn't got to the point to where they 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 set me up to lose everything that I own. Everything. I got I got stuff in there that belong to my parents, my mother, my grandmother. They auction it off tomorrow. She said, I have until 8 a.m. tomorrow to have is 1800 And it's for two. So I rounded off to 2000 because by now it didn't went up another couple of days. And it is the 21st. And then... This is what's really fucked up. This is how I know the enemy is trying to break me down. Okay? Because I can sh I can take a screenshot from my camera and tell you, show you, I'm a new person on this channel. But YouTube owes me about $2,000. And every month, they give me, say, for instance, like right now, they owe me for this month about 800 And it's showing on my assets account that they only issued me $160. And I was planning on using that to be able to put on my deposit. Not on my but on my um storage. It's the twenty second, the twenty third. My glasses back on. Today is the twenty third. Usually YouTube pays me on the twenty first. Now this is this is telling me how I know this is a spiritual attack. It's like this happened before. And then ended up getting the money. It's like the enemy wants me to lose everything. Because I'm a Scorpio and I always was able to make a way to make it. And so they like, well, we're going to fuck with her car. That's why I'm claiming a Tesla in the name of Jesus. I'm going to get me a Tesla. And I'm going to be able to pay cash for that motherfucker. I don't want no brand new one. I don't want a brand new one. But I'm going to get me a Tesla. I'm claiming it. Mm -hmm. They fuck with my car. My truck. Trying to make me lose everything. But I'm still doing these readings. And that's pissing this which is off. And exposing them, their masks are falling off. So they're trying to destroy me. It's material stuff. But I just, you know, I mean, if anybody want to donate to help me, you can, whatever the most you can help me with, you can give. And um, it is what it is. It's like, if I get it, I save it. If I don't, I don't get the money then. I just gotta take it as a loss. But it makes me mad.
that everything that I left behind, I'm with. And everything that I went to take, I can't get. They didn't even lock it up to where I had things inside of the storage where I could have got it out and paid it. But if they locked it, I can't get I can't get nothing out to sell to pawn. I got stuff in there that, that could have kept a roof over my head. And waiting around on these courts and all of this shit. It don't it don't take this fucking long. That shit don't take that long. If they got up off of their lazy asses and stopped just sitting in there um, on them little typing things, when you go out of there, they, they be in there just talking, talking shit. Because I done walked in a couple of them to go into the wrong courtroom. And it be the judge, the bailiff, the, the person who the little typer the shorthand person, and the um, the attorney laughing and talking, okay? And you know they be laughing and talking about who they done, who money they done stole, and that's such a shame. They look down on others, but they're the one causing these people to look that way, and then they have the nerve to just look at people like they real fucked up. Bitch, you the reason, y'all, you're... Your community is the reason why there's a homeless community. And the sad thing is, they around here making, this is what how less they think of humans. They're building, they're building more dog parks, animal parks, instead of making some housing for people who's going through some shit. And then hire the right people to do what they're supposed to be doing. Like the other day, I seen this one man sitting on the curb. I felt so bad. It was nothing I could do. Nothing. And I know a lot of people, but it's people out there that could do something and they won't. Like, I'm, I'm homeless, been going back and forth to a hotel. Now I'm broke. I don't have no hotel to go to. I don't have no money to go in and be spending to go to the laundromat to keep my son's clothes and socks and stuff clean so he don't be teased when he go to school for wearing dirty clothes. I don't have it. And it was it was one day I was going to 7-Eleven. And at this time I was I was in the hotel and I had some money. And I walked in as I was opening the door. This bum called my name. He said, Jackie. And I turned and I looked. This was like, it, it hurts because this was somebody all I remember I met this boy He's a grown man now. And I met him when I was about who I was about twelve, twelve or thirteen years old.
Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, this is just showing to me now what he went through. <sighs> I remember him when I was like 12 years old. And he lived in my uncle's apartment with his family. They lived downstairs. And I remember it for the past like three years I've been having dreams about my uncle's apartment over there is is now they did this whole different it don't look the same they redid the whole thing but I had dreams about him when I was little I mean I met him when I was little and I remember every time when I would have the dream it would be his family lived downstairs and when I was little, the apartments was, it was no closed in. It was open in the stairs when you would go in. It's like you go this way and then the stairs would go up and to the next floor. And my uncle apartment was upstairs and they lived right downstairs. And it was like, uh, it was just open. And I remember as a child, I didn't remember a lot of things. But now as I'm growing up and, and, and remembering getting flesh, he was being abused. And uh, no, I guess nobody knew. I don't know. But when I went into 7-Eleven, and this was about three months ago, I went in there. <sighs> and he called my name. And I said, looked and I said David and he looked like a black Jesus his hair had but I could see his he, he it's like he still looked the same but he just had grew all of this out and from when I was like 11 or 12 years old. We used to ride bicycles when my uncle bought me a bicycle for Christmas and the apartments was up on like a hill and we always ride up the hill. And I got a scar on the back of my foot from when I went down the hill. And I ran into a pole and it up. It, it cut my foot up on the back. <laughs> and I showed it to him. I was like, you remember this? Because I couldn't walk. And I was acting like a big old baby. And he, he, <laughs> he was like, come on, come on, stop crying, stop crying. And he was pushing the bike and, and he was helping me. And I'm walking up the hill. And then my uncle came down and he was like, scared me, telling me I got to get a technique shot because I ran into the rusty pole. It was bleeding and all of this. And this was like, I didn't, he was just like one of the kids that lived in my, my uncle's apartments. And me and him was, we became friends. And when I seen him, he said, family got him where he's at. And that broke my heart because that's where my brother wants me to be. Because my brother, he's used to, um, he's used to homelessness, sleeping in cars and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not like that. I've never been used to it. I've never been through this. And when I see him, it broke my heart because his family could have did the same thing. He could have been being abused. I don't know. I just, I got a flash of it. And it's like, when I lived here and the house was fully functioning, I fed the homeless. I would cook big pots of soup when it's cold. I would give them blankets. Um, I would sit and talk to them. I never treated them shitty. I treated them like real human beings. I didn't treat them bad. If they smelled bad, I always gave them something to help them. Gave them, you know, 
ways to help themselves so they won't be disrespected on the street and stuff because people don't know what people are on the street for. If you treat these people bad, if they have been a victim of some sort of thievery, not everybody that's on the street is on drugs and selling their ass and their body and, and doing shit. No, it's innocent people out there. And they just don't say nothing. They're quiet now because they done got used to being put down, hurt, kicked out because of lies and stuff like that. If you don't understand and see why the homeless rate is so homeless, why don't you just sometime, instead of talking bad about them, ask them why they're homeless. Now, if you see them, the, these young ones out here doing drugs and all of that, you know why. But some of them people that you, you ask them why. Buy them a meal. Okay? And be careful of the scam artists too. Because they will scam you. Just like that man on, they, they showed he, he stand out in front of a store with dreadlocks. Looking like a bum. And then when he get ready to go after his shift is over and being homeless, he goes and hops into a Mercedes and take that jacket off and let his dreads hang. So you got to be careful because they are out there. And I'm not trying to scam nobody. I can show y'all. And if you've been following my channel, why the fuck would I be in this big empty ass house? It's empty in here. It's empty. Ain't nothing in that den. That's a box of clothes I'm about to throw away. It's empty. It used to be curtains and stuff up there where I had it all cut off. My dad built that. He added a bathroom. He built it himself. He didn't get no contractors and paying them motherfuckers because he knew i do it myself. And that's who I get it from. Before I go in the store and pay a, uh, a whole bunch of money for some expensive ass lamp, I just look that motherfucker over and figure out how I can make my own version but better. And this is why they're trying to take away my storage. Because everything that represents me is inside of there. But it's alright if I lose my stuff. Gifts and things that was given to me. Things that are of value. That was taken. Trying to, it's, I still got one more day. If I lose it, then I lose it. I'm sad. And it just is, like I said, my stuff get auctioned off tomorrow and I don't have the money. I'm taking that lock off this door today. I'm taking it off. I'm not going to damage it. I'm going to take it off and sit it right there on the front porch. Now, you guys done took long, longer than you've been there. My stuff's supposed to have been out. I'm supposed to have been moved and got away from this house, moved out of this city or whatever, even in my own apartment. But they playing ways to get more money and saying what I borrowed is, is taking. No, it don't take. Okay, you done told me how much I done borrowed off the house. Now, give me my shit so I can move, so I can get my stuff out of my storage. It's like they want me to lose everything, and I have two storages. Everything I, I from my ice cream business. I had a licensed ice cream business. Okay. Everything that came with that ice cream business. All of my, my appliances and everything that went with my business is in storage. Because I did not only sell ice cream, I sold food. I sold ices and ice cream stuff. I had popcorn, cotton candy machines. Popcorn maker, the cotton candy machine. I had a shake maker. You can make blending shakes and a malt shaker. I had things that, that the kids asked me to make. So if anybody have it to help me to raise that 2000 if I have to like put a toll and don't send, please don't send no more 
the super thanks to YouTube because they were supposed to pay me yesterday and they haven't paid me. So this is why I'm asking everybody to help me. They did it last month. This is how I'm saying they owe me over $2,000. And they, it's like with all of these, the, the different things that go along with YouTube and all of this stuff, they didn't took their part. Pay me, but then this is this is what's making me mad. Everybody is, it's like they're they're taking their portion and keeping everybody else, keeping us on hold. They getting their portion already. So I'm gonna stop this video. Yesterday, I mean the enemy is so mad at me. Yesterday. I went to the um, beauty supply because I lost one of my, my earrings, right? So I went, and no, these not gold, but they are so cute. I love, they look gold. Well, I'm going to pay all that money for some real, even when I had the money to go buy some gold real earrings, I wouldn't go buy them because I know how I lose the fake ones. So why the fuck would I go and pay some for some real shit to just keep losing it and walking around with one earrings? No, no, but this is... So I go in the beauty supply store and one of my spiritual sisters is in there. And she knows what I'm going through. And I was like, look, girl, I I can't even go go get my nails done. I, I'm just, you know, I do my own hair myself. I don't pay nobody to do shit for me. Okay. And she was like, come here, come here, come here. And she was like, Pick some. And she, she works there. She gave me these. And I ain't put them on. And this is how I usually get my nails done at the shop. This is why I picked these ones. When I go to the shop, this is if you look at some of my old videos. This is how my nail lady would do my nails. And this little package was $17, 18, 17, $17.99. And she just gave them to me. And she's always, when I go in there, because she know that I know how to do my makeup, that I can get beautiful when I want to. And she know what they doing. They want me to be running around looking fucked up because they know that I'm chosen. I have a calling upon my life. So the enemy is trying every way to block me, to take away my blessings, to take away my inheritance, to mess with my family, They're attacking my son, sons, two of them. And it's like, they're just trying to tear my whole family down. My niece is in a, um, in a foster care because I don't have nowhere to bring her. One night she called me at 11 o'clock at night, crying. And she's four hours away from me, where these motherfuckers put her way out there. Her mother allowed it. Then got her down there and start by her, 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 Baby brother had got killed, eight months old. And they put her there. Her mother sent her there to this boy, the, to her little brother's grandmother. And they got her down there and was abusing her, like mentally. And she called me 11 o'clock at night. And I told her to put me on the video and let me see what's going on. It was nothing I can do right then and there because she was four hours away from me. So I called my son and I'm thinking where she's at. It's like only 30 minutes away from him. Couldn't find out she was two hours away from him. My son ended up driving to go pick her up at two o'clock in the morning because the people was um, abusing her, yelling at her because of what happened to her baby brother, which was not her fault, but because it was her mother 
it was her 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 mother's her baby brother's grandmother. They don't have the same father, and the baby brother got killed because her mother um, took the baby to somebody's house, and apparently the, the the girlfriend got jealous and threw the baby down the stairs, and the baby died. Something like that, you know. I don't know. Um, that's what I heard. Um, but she needs me, and because they doing all of this. All of this time been going on. She's 14, 15 now. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. So she's been waiting to be in my custody for, for five years now. And this is how they hold up. Again, they hold up. She, slowing people's lives down. Just slowing your life down. That's all they do. So if, if any of you going through some shit, I ain't gonna do a reading because 111. I'm 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 at my last. There's nowhere else for me for me to go but up. I'm standing on, I feel like the fucking Indians when when the white man try to come and steal shit from them. From the Africans. When they went and, and, and sold us, stole us. Put a lot of money in front of the ancestors and all of that bullshit. So they steal us like this. This They they use spell work and manipulation on us, tactics. So they're going to they gonna, they gonna have to, uh, I'm not going nowhere. And if it come to a point to where I have to go live, I will. I'm not going nowhere. If I lose my, I'm not going to lose my sanity. I'm not going to lose my dignity. You're not going to have me out there while you sitting at home with your family toasting and drinking and eating big meals and shit. Then I'm going to be out on the, on the street somewhere scrapping. Trying to pay for a roof over my head when my father paid for and built this shit. Then try to go try to keep an extra hundred thousand. Talking about, I said, no, they sold it for more than what you saying. So knock it the fuck off. Shit, just give me what you owe me. I know I took loans out, but shit, I need, I need to, to either, to either, they just know what they got to do. And they know what they got to do for you too. And if you resonate with this, please put it in the comments. Peace out, y'all.